In this project we use Tryon 3D Builder to create a digital twin of the Nürburgring F1 circuit, for Unreal Engine 5. With Tryon 3 Builder's wizard, we merge data from a variety of sources, including OpenStreetMaps, OpenDrive, here RDF as well as elevation and satellite maps, in a matter of seconds. Once these databases are imported, we can see both in the viewport, and in the vector tree. Elevation maps and satellite imagery can be overlaid on the terrain with the desired level of transparency, providing a helpful reference for environment editing. In the vector tree, objects can be grouped into different lists and folders, which is necessary to control the render order of elements. It also improves project organization and allows for parallel work among multiple team members. Once the vector lists are sorted, we can begin editing them with Try and 3 Builder's flexible editing tools. This enables us to resolve inconsistencies in databases, overcome limitations of high maps resolution, and replace models and textures to better align with the terrain's visual references. Thanks to its powerful modifier system and the WYSIWYG display mode, we can observe how easy it is to edit elements. For example, we have created a roll coaster using a contour object placer and an object extrude modifier. With the signal modifier, we can create our own signals within the software. Models were also especially made for this terrain using external programs, to replace those assigned automatically, resulting in a more accurate representation of reality. These models, together with their PBR textures, are easily imported into the Tryon 3D Builder library. Additionally, we added elements such as public toilets or roof structures that were not included in the original databases, but were present in the visual references. Some textures were also created in external programs, both for the models and for general use by assignment to any group of vectors or elements. These are physical base render textures that are also easily imported to try and 3D builder libraries. With them we map terrain surfaces, facades, advertising signs, or roofs. Once we've made all the necessary modifications, like adding brake marks on the asphalt, we'll generate a complete 3D map of the terrain. We can adjust the grid and group its tiles into different levels of detail, each with its own editable resolution profile. Once we're satisfied with the outcome, we can prepare it to be exported to Unreal Engine 5. Defining vegetation areas, adding attributes for collisions, and specifying special attributes for use in carless simulations are all part of the process. Finally the terrain is generated in the desired format. The process of importing into Unreal Engine 5 using the Datasmith plugin is simple and straightforward. Once the terrain is imported, we can make a series of modifications thanks to the attributes previously assigned in Tryon 3D Builder. For example, populating vegetation areas with grass, or replacing models with Unreal assets, as in this case the trees. As a result we have a terrain of exceptional quality and performance that is highly accurate to real-world data and ready to be used in 3D simulations.